Hello and good day mga kahabi. For today's video, I will be sharing my ways and experience on how to use district water or the water directly from your faucet. Disclaimer that this is based on my experience practice and feel free to comment your thoughts below so that we can improve our process. I do suggest also that do not skip any part of the video because for me everything is critical and important. Just a bit of history that when I started back in keeping fish way back 2018, we are no longer using deep well water because our community deep well was broken already and we are already using district water which is the MCWD or Metro Cebu Water District. I really don't know what is the regulation of the acceptable amount of chlorine in district water but one thing for sure is that we cannot directly use the water from the faucet. That is why most of our early years when coming back in ornamental fish keeping was dedicated to testing, research, and adapting to use district water. What I always did before is stock water at least one or two days in the blue drum or any container and let the chlorine evaporate naturally before using it. I sometimes add ration so that the water will be cycled but I never use chlorine remover because stocking water works fine for me. Fast forward to where we are now, two blue drum is not enough for daily water change because we already have a lot of fish tank. So I was thinking before to use district water directly without stocking it. Then I did a test doing water change, replacing 10% of the water directly from the faucet and observed the fish. So from 10% water change and the fish was fine, it goes to 20, 30, 40, 50 and so far 60% water change using district water. I will emphasize also that when we did our test, we really measured the amount of water that we removed. But this test was not done in the span of months. It took me years and opinions of other breeders and fish keepers with some research also. Some of my important learnings are small amount of district water is not harmful to the fish. And if you have high ration, the chlorine in the district water will easily break down and evaporate and if mixed with old water plus high aeration, it will be diluted. That is why if you look at our setup, we place the hose near the outlet of the overhead filter so that the new and old water will be mixed immediately and our water parameter including the temperature will not fluctuate. As to my testing before, and this dripping starting from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. will equate to 2 or 3 full tank of this 48 by 18 by 18 aquarium. If you still follow me, you notice that I never use chlorine remover or any water conditioner. That is because my process works fine for me. But currently, we are testing a water conditioner which will remove harmful chlorine, neutralize chloramine, buffer pH, detoxify metal, so on and so forth. We always innovate and improve our process. That is why we are always welcome to the ideas and opinions of others. Again, disclaimer that this is my process based on my testing and experience. And if you like to follow it, I do suggest to test it first in a different tank or testing tank if you have. That is because we have a different setup and parameter, especially water source. I think that's it mga kahabi and if I missed something, please comment it below and if you are new to my channel, please support it by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified to my upcoming videos. And then for ideas and suggestion, please comment it below. Thank you, keep safe, and happy fish keeping.